This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Could it be Bob Denver, Karen Valentine, Walt, the cast of Soap, Henry Winkler, Mr. Ed and Wilbur, Marty J. Wiley, Mark Schmidbauer, and in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... Tuesday at 6, Wednesdays at 10, Thursdays at 3. That Darren Pamela Ferdin. Um, oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um, Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. The world of 60s and 70s television. Welcome to Vast Wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Vast Wasteland, the video journal of 60s and 70s TV. I'm Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbert Neal and Marty Wiley. Well, tonight on the big extravaganza, we're going to be doing miscellaneous cartoon shows, stuff we haven't covered in all the other cartoon shows we've done, and we sure hope you enjoy it. But first, just want to tell you we're on Tuesdays at 6, six Wednesdays at 10, and, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV, Cable <laughs> 21. Give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> ah, that one's right. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you want to write to us, you want to write to box 151411, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Came right well, out your mouth. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> let's talk about miscellaneous <laughs> cartoon shows. Well, when the big studios were slapping together stuff like uh, Bugs Bunny and and Mickey Mouse and, uh, yeah, and Fred Flintstones, Flintstone. yeah. <laughs> you know, there were other people who had to put together the, the little things, the little studios, the little guys in the industry. <laughs> you know, they just had to get out there and put together whatever they could. Usually, usually tended to be people that were uh, like uh, outcasts from other companies right. or people who got sick and tired of working for some guy like Walt Disney or something. <laughs> Disgruntled cartoonists. I'll show him. 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 i and of course, Bob Clampett's big cartoon was Beanie, Beanie and Cecil. <laughs> let's 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 see if we can find some information on Beanie and Cecil. Well, it was about a kid named Beanie and, and a 
sea sick sea serpent named Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> and they had that 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 boat. <laughs> I had a hat. You pulled the string the and the beanie copter, and that's how Beanie would get Cecil, right. you know? It's like, <laughs> help Cecil, help. A little thingy on his hat would go flying. I'm coming to save you. <laughs> I'm coming, Beanie boy. <laughs> and there was a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. There was a dishonest John dishonest looking in this John. one. Yeah, I, it was I, dishonest John. <laughs> and that's probably one of the cl more clever cartoons. Right. It was, it was during the same era as, like, Bullwinkle. Really, yeah. and, it, and it had kind of the same kind of of feeling to it, you know. There was kind of like the two. Di <laughs> oh, 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 there we are. Yeah. There was kind of like two different levels. There, <laughs> there was like the uh, the very uh, kid-like thing, you know, the kid jokes, uh -huh. and there were the adult jokes on the other level. So you could really enjoy them either way. Yeah, a lot of. <laughs> there were two or three and levels of, uh, of humor see. in it. Yeah. There, there's, there they there's are. Beanie Boy and Captain Puff and stuff. <laughs> or Huff and Puff. Huff and Puff. Huff and Puff. Captain Huff and Puff. Huff and Huff Huff Huff. Huff. That's right. That was a, another, that wasn't even a cartoon. Sea monster, <laughs> he was a he was a dragon. And of course, it seems like all those shows they've tried to redo. Yeah. And so there was mm -hmm. just recently a Minnie and Cecil uh, Saturday morning show, like mm -hmm. maybe a year or two ago, something mm -hmm. like that. And it was really bad. <laughs> mm, it was well, really it, it wasn't bad, real but bad. Well, but well, just, no, well, well, based on <laughs> based on what was on one Saturday morning, it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not saying much. Today, Saturday morning is pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, well, they you, you're, you're falling into the bad thing of on one hand you got your um, your your half hour long toy commercials, right. mm -hmm. and on the other hand you've got the um, the parents who say, there's too much violence on TV. We need happy little things on here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Those darn blue things. things. <laughs> they love and share. But, and you, love and share. share. <laughs> <laughs> but Beanie and Cecil was merchandise, but it wasn't a half hour cart. It was a cartoon. It wasn't a half hour commercial. Because right. There was the Cecil doll yeah. that we've had on here before, and there was a talking one. There was a talking and Cecil. And then there was the little hat like I had that you actually pulled the string and the beanie copter flew away. And they might have had a puppet that had like yeah. the three of them on there, and maybe Dishonest John too, but that was it. I don't know, Dishonest John was bad. Yeah, uh, it is I, Dishonest John. Well, the, yeah, uh, uh. that's my hand, but... <laughs> <laughs> And it ain't too honest neither. <laughs> he was he was just a your 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 average snidely whiplash kind of guy. Right. Uh -huh. he, had the, Basically. he had the mustache and everything. There's another reference to another cartoon, which I think we've talked about before. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I had a well, I, that's neither here nor there. What? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Editing himself. <laughs> well, well let's see. Uh, right. Well, let's see. Let me let me run back here because there was I think you're talking about Matt's Fun Day Funnies, which was a Harvey thing, and <laughs> the Harvey, Harvey. The, the Harvey things, they came out later, but yeah. um, <laughs> they was, let me see, the cartoons were all reruns of old Harvey material. Right. Okay, and always, was, always, always consider Harvey to be one of the also-rans of, not only, yeah. only the comic book, but the animation industry, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and they just you, knew all their characters. When Casper, you talk Harvey, Casper, you got Casper, Casper Baby Huey. Just didn't know. Oh, I know a Casper rumor. Yeah. Okay, Casper rumor. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story that's told to me. It's supposed to be the honest truth about Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yes. There is supposedly, allegedly, a little cartoon out there. The first one. And and allegedly it shows how Casper became a ghost. Ooh! And supposedly, supposedly, Casper was a little black child who was crossing the street one day and was hit by a bus. And supposedly there is a cartoon out there showing us how he became. Now was that Casper. ever was that ever released or was that like one of those in-house things they did just to make fun of it? I don't know. It? I don't know. It's is supposed it, to be out there. Well, see, a, a lot of the studios they don't make. Of course, they don't publicize this a lot. But almost all the studios, even today, tend to make these little little in-house things just to amuse themselves and they're usually pretty raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that might be one of those because you really can't see it. And here's how Casper, well, Casper came to be. Today. It was a black boy hit by a bus. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, somehow. Well, I wonder if anybody else has heard that story. <laughs> I hadn't actually heard that story. There's little Audrey and right. Buzzy the Crow, Tommy Baby Turtle, <laughs> Catnip and Herman. Catnip and Herman, basically another a Tom and Jerry clone. Yeah, another Tom and Jerry. <laughs> One of the many One Tom of those and Jerry just gruntled cartoonist things. <laughs> well, I'll go and I'll make my <laughs> own Tom and Jerry. <laughs> my own cat and mouse show. I'll show them. That's right. They're gonna. <laughs> Baby Huey. Yeah, Baby Huey, the big fat duck. Little Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> was he little, a duck? <laughs> yeah, he was a duck. He was a great big fat duck. <laughs> well, I knew a child that looked head. like him. No, his head wasn't twice as big <laughs> as his body. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just was kind of a big pear, a big triangular pear shape. And <laughs> yeah, he was just a big thing. And Heckle and Jackal? Well, Heckle and Jekyll, no, they're, they're a another. They're a Terry Tunes. They're Terry Tunes. Yeah. Okay. One of the many Terry Tunes. Let's talk about them. Oh, well, let, let, let's finish up here oh, with okay. Casper and all these guys. What, what else you got? There's Wendy, Wendy. the little Wendy witch. Wendy the, 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 the good little witch. And Spooky the, the bad spooky little ghost. Spooky the bad little ghost. <laughs> yeah. And the ghostly trio. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> and Nightmare the horse. That's right. This, they just went through the whole Superman thing here. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's very close. <laughs> Yeah, just got all these darn. No, and they keep. I think Casper is coming back, isn't he? He probably is. He's think, never really left. Well, but We've I think Casper. I mean, he's a ghost. No, like, like new Casper With stuff's a friendly coming. Boo. That's what I've heard. <laughs> oh, where he's still got to play. I'm a. They just got to get a like, little T-shirt now. You know, I'm a friendly ghost. You know, well now it'll have to be like you know little Casper. Yeah, now maybe we'll get to see. Maybe, yeah. Now maybe we'll get to see how he became Casper. Yeah. <laughs> you have little Casper and little Wendy. Yeah, you know, the little the little the little, the little Harveys. Pull out my sheet to let you see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, boo! <laughs> There's or Casper. Be, or it'll be good. like, or it'll be like rapping Casper. It'll be something like that. Rapping Casper. <laughs> It seems like that's what they all the Saturday yeah, that, morning cartoons. That's basically Casper, a big yeah. nebulous shape yeah. with, a, with a big well, head. Well, it's a ghost. Well, you know, Casper's a ghost. He's got your basic want? figure eight shape right. drawing and <laughs> a big old head. He, he looks like the schmoo or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But he's a friendly ghost. That's right. <laughs> oh, but everyone's ooh. afraid of him because he's a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like he saves somebody. Dang. It's like inanimate objects see him and they're well. scared. <laughs> 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 that is the thing that bugs me, and this and this seems to happen through all the ghosts, not just Casper. The idea, Casper is, uh, you know, everyone everyone's afraid of him because he's a ghost, and and he's and he's passing through everything, and suddenly, like he pulls some kid from out of from behind, you know, like a car is getting hit him or something, uh -huh. you know, maybe in retribution of his. <laughs> but I keep saying it's wait a minute, he was passing through everything. How did he grab the kid? You didn't maybe, pay it's like to the movie ghost. It must, I, 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 I just flashed on the on ghosts there, just as I was saying that. There, that explained it. To yeah, me. thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess that's enough of the Casper and the ghostly thing there. That's right. Okay, and you wanted to talk about um, about the Terry Tunes. The Terry Tunes. The heckle right. and Jekyll. And and, and who else did they do? Mighty Mouse! Mighty Mouse. Yeah. And... Save me, save me, Mighty Mouse. <laughs> Mighty Mouse was opera for little yeah, children. Right, <laughs> save the day. That means that Mighty, Mighty Mouse, Mouse is, is on the way. <laughs> Mr. <That's>... Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, when they brought Mighty Mouse back, <laughs> Mighty Mouse got in trouble. Yeah. It was yeah. a good cartoon, though. It was, it was a great very, cartoon. Very, very, very It was one good. of the best, it was one of the Remember? best Saturday Morning cartoons ever. I would stack it up mm -hmm. against against Bullwinkle, against, you know, like, uh, the good Flintstones, the early of course, Flintstones. Of course, Columbus doesn't get it until it's, like, older. Yeah, right. But I got the, to see some smuggled up from another bunnies. city. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I'll, I'll never forget the one where they opened up the... This is this is this is the new Mighty right. Mouse. They opened up the pizza pan and, or pizza box, and the little dog came out and, with a tire track down yeah. the middle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mashie the Pig. <laughs> the dog. I had this. This is funny. Yeah. yeah. And of course they got in trouble because because Mighty Mouse it was sad or, or something and, and he was feeling down and he was in this in this uh, uh, like a area of daisies some sort of field of daisies and he smells these daisies and he feels better and people said he's sniffing cocaine. That's right. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. He's sniffing flowers. Come on, it's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. Just just. Stop it! So kids are gonna go out and sniff flowers and get high, apparently. The same way kids kids are gonna like drop anvils on each other. I know where those flowers They're are. gonna Tell jump me. off cliffs. They're gonna get these big, you know, like trampoline shoes or mega or, or leg vitamins. Or you mean you didn't try any of that? Acne products. No, you get know that what? fine acne catalog. We figured out.
figured out that 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 was crap because you know what? We ate our spinach and we didn't get That's stronger. Right. So see, That's right. you were smarter than y'all thought that, out there. Yeah, <laughs> that blew the whole thing. Well, obviously, if the Popeye thing doesn't work, the, Popeye, the rest of this yeah, doesn't work. Yeah, the rest work. of the stuff. <laughs> It's all I just cartoons. Speak for just about everybody, except the very, very if you have, just have your kids, ha, you know, have them ha, have a little bit of spinach, and then see if they can beat up their bigger brother. If they right. can't, and they won't be hey, able to. Hey, I didn't get the arms, so yeah. it didn't work. Yeah, like a battleship, you know. No turbines. Right. 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 <laughs> Big tanks or things. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, that, that the whole quadruple Popeye deal. And I have both my eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that whole Popeye thing, you know. Uh, so once you figure that doesn't work, right? Sure. Other well, stuff must not deal. work either. That's right. I was never attracted to olive oil. You know, <laughs> 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 the pipe that's for woman. sure. <laughs> that whole Popeye thing. That's, that's oh. bogus, man. <laughs> bogus. <laughs> well, we'll have, we'll have a bigger chance to see more Popeye now. Now that that darn cartoon channel is coming, for those of you who don't know, the Cartoon Network is supposed mm -hmm. to start October first. Oh, it's boy, another boy. one of these, another one of these Turner deals. <laughs> so they're gonna apparently they have enough cartoons now because he bought Hanna Barbera, he bought Warner Brothers, and he bought um, MGM. But stuff. you know what's nice about it? He doesn't just put it in a closet somewhere. Right. He just shows it to death they, until you can do the lines and you're sick right. of it. <laughs> so so now they say they have enough cartoons that they could show it continuously from October 1st to like December 5th, 24 hours a day and not repeat. Whoa! <laughs> All right. cool. Three months of cartoons. Hey. That's right. <laughs> That's cool. Now I'll buy that for those, a quarter. <laughs> maybe look into some of those obscure Warner Brothers ones from the 30s, the, virtually any of the companies, the, the ones from the, the early 30s, the really racist ones. Uh -huh. <laughs> It seemed like that. A lot of those anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, the way I grew up, I right. saw a lot of I those mean, anyway. But the ones you see on TV aren't nearly as bad as the ones you don't see anymore. True. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The ones no, I don't think anybody are. shows Bosco now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or... Not much. <laughs> Not much. There was an obscure cartoon. Since we're talking about obscure sure. cartoons. I don't know how many of you guys saw Roger Ramjet and his eagles flying for our freedom. Oh, hey, Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. Yeah. For his adventure, just be sure and stay tuned to, to this station. station. <laughs> yeah, I got that we know, on, Roger. I got that on um, a kid's show that was produced in Dayton. Since I live between Dayton and Cincinnati, I got both wonderful right. cities blasting from right. both sides. So this was a show called Uncle Ori Show, which was like an afternoon Play every games. every market has yeah, it. Yeah, play it. Well, they used to have them. Now, well, they, now, now they, they have. Got, now they got obnoxious people like Susie. See, it's a kids club. <laughs> Let's go to a children's hospital and see what happens if you break your arm. Okay. <laughs> oh, <that's> so <laughs> and, no, no, no. Stay in the studio. You want pies in the face. That's what yes, you want. Yes, yes. Pies in the face. Seltzer bottles. Seltzer bottles. That's what we want. Mine yeah, that bum hicker diddle with his, his booger jokes. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> Well, Bum Hickerdoodle is funny. Yeah, uh, Bum's a cool guy. I've met Bum. He's a he's a great guy. <laughs> but Roger Ramjet, I don't know where Roger Ramjet came from because the only place I saw it was on the Uncle Lori show coming out of Dayton. I don't know what company even did those. That that's oh. a that's a one of the more obscure. Of course, ones. even more obscure. The yeah. one I've mentioned before that I caught on a little station that came out of somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where. <laughs> it was a UHF station back when nobody had UHF. UHF. <laughs> and it was Batfink. <laughs> now I've heard Bat of this, Fink. and that's all. And I've I was heard too young to be doing drugs. Right. Well, I know there was it, a it cartoon called exist. Batfink. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we figure. <laughs> Please, if you heard of this cartoon, <laughs> no. play it immediately. <laughs> write us now. We want write confirmation us this thing exists. <laughs> I need it. I really do. <laughs> See, the, the bad thing, the, the, the terrible trick that, that parents play on their children is they sit them in front of that TV and they're too young to, they're too young to get up and write things down, like, <laughs> right. who did this show, <laughs> what, what voices are on, what, what production company, you just sit there and watch it and then years later, you're doubting your sanity. No, no, I'm, right. I'm figuring remember. this must have been about 67 or 68. I'm figuring it was right around in there, maybe as late as 69, but it couldn't have been... Somewhere right. It was, well, I was, was that I around was the same time as... Um, a little. <laughs> as, uh, what's his name? The, uh, the... Yeah, uh, yeah I think oh, it was... okay. Yeah, it's Tom yeah. Slick, George of Jungle, and Super Chicken, they were, they were... They were three great ones. Yeah, we've talked about them before, oh, yeah, too. yeah, we've talked about the whole... Because they were part of that whole Captain Crunch thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that old Captain Crunch universe. <laughs> well, well, there's one we see. Geez, we got it. We can't can't forget talking about. Ooh, Underdog. Ooh, ooh. 
Now maybe but underdog was a bad hey. The secret entrapment of my ring I feel with an underdog super, super chicken energy, energy pill. Now wait a minute, or super underdog chicken. energy vitamin pill it right. became later. Super After chicken drank acid or something. Oh, yeah, the super <laughs> sauce. What I was gonna say was super was sauce. Until, until this year. And it made him go <laughs> <laughs> Until this year. It just made him think he was better. <laughs> well, he still looked the same. <laughs> Henry Cabot oh, House the third. about chickens on acid, huh? <laughs> and Fred. <laughs> it seemed like like uh, CBS and all the networks. Every year they'd do their Saturday morning and they'd come out with some dopey idea. They keep getting dopier every year. And and they'd cancel them because they were getting virtually like zero. People, test patterns were getting better ratings. And and so what do they do? Every year around February, March, suddenly they start slipping in Bullwinkle, mm -hmm. slipping in Underdog, slipping in more Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Uh -huh. They come back to the classics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's is basically what your networks are doing, except networks, they've got so much fodder that comes in, you right. know. <laughs> All the little shows that don't get it into the fall, and they say, well, we'll try this one. Yeah, try that again. We'll I'll try this one. Well, but, you know, but Underdog, we'll so rework it. Yeah. But Underdog, he's so a, he's a underdog, perennial standard. Yeah, underdog uh, Tennessee and Tuxedo <laughs> and Chumley. Underdog, <laughs> Tennessee. Gee, Tennessee. <laughs> And that one, that one, that one was sneaky though. Because you learned something. Because you had to learn something. That's right. Right in the middle <laughs> of that, that's Mr. Whoopi. We're going to teach you something. They're going to take you to how... Mr. Whoopi. But... <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Whoopi, oh, yeah. I thought about the atom bomb. Yeah. Say, Thank you, Mr. Whoopi. <laughs> yeah. We'll go make the atom bomb now. <laughs> by golly. You forgot about the. Yeah. That's how you the got uranium, elevators. You know. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Chumley, don't you get sick of him teaching us stuff? <laughs> well, <laughs> gee, Tennessee. <laughs> How do we get back into it? How do we get back to the zoo? Right here. I've invented this catapult. <laughs> yeah, I don't get out of the zoo. Get in the thing when you got out. Well, they right. usually had a slingshot or catapult or something. They're always trying to leave the zoo, sneak out to do something, then come back. <laughs> Wait, you flipped one there in the book that... that oh, I just found Tennessee Tuxedo. <laughs> no, oh, well, good for you. And, and then the turtle. Well, Tudor the turtle. Tudor the turtle. Uh, deep the turtle. in the forest, there's a tall, tall tree. It used to be a short tree, but it uh, grew. And down the bottom of this tree is a little old box, which is really the home of Mr. Wizard the Lizard. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Wizard the Lizard. <laughs> Mr. Wizard the little he, he would he would do some magical things and shrink Tudor down and bring him into that box. And boy, he'd, he'd send Tudor all kinds of places. He'd, he'd, then drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Oh, help, help, Mr. Wizard. I think I made a mess of things again. Oh, drizzle, 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 drizzle. Time for this one to come home. Gee, Mr. Wizard, I messed up real bad. Oh, Tudor, it's just like I always tell you. Be just what you is, not what you is not. Folks, what do's this? It's the happiest lot. Amazing. Yeah. Magoo there. Magoo. Magoo. Well, we, we've talked a little bit about Magoo on, that, on our holiday special, but yeah. we never talked about the, the regular Magoo. Yeah, there was a regular Magoo. Yeah, the big Magoo. Before he became the famous actor and did all the ever. That's right, yeah. Before, you know, before the big studios done realized what a talent Mr. Magoo had. You know, he has to do the classics. You know, him and him and Olivier, pretty much. <laughs> the famous adventures of Mr. Magoo. Because he had a nephew that got left out of the classics, you know. What was his name? Waldo? Yeah. <laughs> Who had to like kind of bail his behind out. <laughs> yeah. well, Every time, because Magoo basically was blind see. as he could be. That that was, and was that was pretty much the one the one joke yeah. concept. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Magoo is a blind old guy and he keeps doing stupid stuff. And, well, it was amusing. It, it, it was. That just shows how how easily we were amused back That's then. Right. <laughs> this one, this one card, this one um one joke, one joke basically <laughs> um over and over and that over. Lasted him he a whole year. Wacky yeah. ideas. Because a whole year. <laughs> oh, work for well, me. Well, <laughs> in, in the same basic time period, we had the Alvin Show. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alvin. This is the Alvin Show. Oh, the Alvin much Show. A, <laughs> that's a, uh, um, a, a, a dynasty now. You know? Oh, yeah, <laughs> really? There's they turned Alvin, some, they brought him back, and now they're singing rock stuff. But they brought him back, Ross and they made him just too cute. Junior. They made yeah, him too cute. Yeah. They made now. a movie, even. That's this is right. how they really look. Yeah. This is how they were like, they were like drawn real fast. Yes. <laughs> 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 like, okay. Oh, there you go. And like, it, it all started basically with that with that um, witch doctor song. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I call the witch doctor. And then they had to draw them real fast and put them on. <laughs> anyway, that, and that turned into, uh, what was their, um, that hula hoop, that Christmas song. Yeah. They want the hula hoop. I want a hula hoop. We can hardly stand <laughs> away. The Christmas don't be late. Are you ready? Yeah. Alvin? Alvin? How come those Alvin! Okay! <laughs> okay, okay, what was, the, what was the perspective there? Were the chipmunks like really big chipmunks, or were all the people just really, really small? Hmm. Well, it was like the chipmunks started <laughs> off actually one. being small. <laughs> yeah. They actually were small, but then somewhere along the line they uh, grew. Grew. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> they put clothes on them and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that was another one of those parental things. You can't have naked chipmunks running around. <laughs> That's just indecent. <laughs> Well, Donald Duck ain't never put no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> but then, well, you look at Donald and you say, well, why should he? He probably couldn't find a pair of pants. Well, no, I look at most animals and say, why <laughs> should they? <laughs> of course, now George Jetson has pants and he looks pretty much like Donald Duck. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. He was that, on the Donald just Duck Just that diet round plan. bottom thing. <laughs> He ate Donald Duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, there was one, there was another obscure one that they didn't have on for very long. Um, when Amos and Andy went from radio to television, uh, there was suddenly a big outcry because, I mean, it was always pretty much a racist concept. <laughs> but in the 30s, no one seemed to mind. But when they brought it to television, it didn't seem to work very well. So they reformulated it into Calvin and the Colonel, ah. which is which is the exact same show concept, except, well, now it's animals instead of black <laughs> so, so, Oh, so it's well, okay. it's okay then. <laughs> but it wasn't very funny, so it didn't last very long. I, I, I thought the that Calvin one. and the Colonel was kind of made by the same people that went on to do um, Hoppity Hooper and all that. Well, it may well have been. Let's see. I had, yeah, but, a, I had a toad named Hoppy. Oh, but I just saw it. I just oh, did I just pass it? I just saw it. I was so like, inspired. The next page. <laughs> yep. There, there you go, are. Calvin and the Colonel. Calvin no, and the Colonel. <laughs> okay. Well, I never uh, saw it, but I, but I keep reading I about it. I remember Calvin and the Colonel, base, actually. Well, Gee. You're old. It was, um, it was actually from uh, 61 to 62, just about a year. And it was done by the people who did the same voices as Amos and Andy. <laughs> this, okay. It was the same voices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see, the Amos and Andy comedy depicting a mischievous pair of black men, racial stereotype was no longer permitted, so they did Calvin and the Colonel. That's right. A uh, story of a sly, a friendship of a sly fox and a simple bear. <laughs> much. Dude, Boy, that is a, like a stereotype a to me. A, <laughs> no, a sly chihuahua and a, a simple cat. <laughs> 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 mm. yeah. He is... An asthma hound chihuahua. chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Be clear on that. <laughs> we don't want to offend his breed. That's right. What <laughs> is it, man? <laughs> oh, Rand. Happy, happy, enjoy, enjoy, happy, happy, The thing enjoy, that just enjoy. makes it so funny is Peter Lorre and, uh, and, uh, and Larry Fine. And Larry <laughs> Fine. That's pretty what a what a comedy troupe. What a comedy pair. Well, that's an obscure cartoon that's just. Becoming First enormous. down and become huge. That's right. There's another one that's obs that's today that's obscure that Fox has that Howie Mandel does called Bobby's World. I've, I've seen like one really episode of that. Which is really pretty neat. Yeah. Which is really it's I mean like I said it's obscure but. And that's and that's what we like on Vast Ways Obscurity. <laughs> <laughs> Obscurity. <laughs> yeah. So next time on Vast Wasteland it's sports TV. For all of us at Vast Wasteland we'll see you next time. Good night everybody.